Right, today I'm going to show you how to set up the Gamma Star 2S. They're all basically the same. Info box, most important box. Connections. Ethernet can only go in Ethernet power. An adapter that goes under the power. Feed, feed and feed, feed. Yeah. Two. LNB in, and the other goes in tuner A. Like so. Sorry about the lights, I don't know why it's gone like this, but... So you have one top, one missing, then one to the right as you face it from the back. Then you'll want to set up the image, because I dare say you probably want it to look like Sky for whatever reason. You get a USB, I've formatted this already and I've put on the backup. Make sure it's all connected up. TV on. Oh, one of the most important bits HDMI, or else you'll not see anything, of course. That's us connected now. USB's in. When that's in, just turn it on. Power. But if you're formatted and put the image on, it will come up automatically. Flash. That'll take. 10-15 minutes, if it still says flash after 15-20 minutes, then pull the box off and start again. And I'll pause this here because there's no point sitting for 15 minutes and then we'll do part two. Okay, that's the, f the flashing finished, so now this is it booting up for the first time. Now you would get a new USB or you can reuse the USB that's in the back now you'd go away delete all of this format it to FAT32 and then you would reinsert that in the back and then we'll start setting up EPGs etc so that you can record onto the, the flash drive, 16 gigabyte. I wouldn't really go less than a four. That's 16 gigabyte is ideal for basic stuff. So 99%, change the input on the TV. Ninety nine, one hundred. Sky one, probably not come up because we don't have the line added yet. There you go, channel five working. No signal, no bother. I'll go format the drive. I'll come back. We'll set up the next step, which is EPG, time shift, etc., etc. And then I'll show Put you. Put the USB. The computer will come up like this. Right click. Format, FAT32, quick format, start, everything will be deleted, so don't use something that's got all your photos, delete, job done, complete, okay, take it out, I'll show you can go back to the box and try it, flash drive back in, menu, Set up system storage 
initialization, external hard drive, it's up there, OK, ready to initiate, it's just going to tell you you're going to lose everything again, yes, that'll take a couple of minutes, you can continue in the background, but I'll leave it up so that you know what's happening. So obviously the bigger the drive, the longer it will take, which is obviously quite basic knowledge if you need Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred. Done. Right, I'll show you the menu as you go into that, so that you can see what I've done. Menu, setup, system, storage, initialization. We've already done it, so no point in doing it again. Just to show you the menu that time. Next on the list is Swap File Manager, Menu, Setup, VIX, Swap Manager, so it's then Blue to create, you see there, Blue, Blue to create, 1, then 256, number 7 there, Select, please wait while we're creating. Again, this takes a, depends, sometimes it's a, a minute, sometimes a couple of minutes, so we'll wait. Getting there slowly but surely. We're coming up in about a minute now. I don't see the point in pausing the video and restarting it for this because we've got some more stuff to do. And this menu. Okay, so now you press yellow, which is auto start. Then you press green to activate. Then you press red to close. Red to close. Red to close or exit. And when you get to this one, exit all the way to the main screen. Hold down the power button. One, two, three. Restart. Always go to restart. Restart. So not restart GUI because that's just the skin that you'd be restarting. Graphical interface, user interface. You want to restart the full system, so you go restart. There's again my star 2S is rebooting. That'll go through the boot phase again. And then we'll bring back the video when it's done to do the next part. Right, so the box is booted back up. Next, we're going to set it up for the local area. So, menu again, set up. This uh, service searching, sorry. Auto Bokets Maker. Providers. Wait a couple of settings. And then it should come up. FreeSat. No. Republic Island. This one I'm going to put no because it's not for Ireland. Service area. So this is where you would pick London, Glasgow. 
Liverpool, etc, etc, etc. This is programmes in the local area, so we'll scroll through some. So, you get the idea. Let's go Merseyside. Free to air only. It goes to no. Generate main, yes. Generate sections, yes. HD, yes. Free to air, yes. Free to air HD, yes. Swap channels, yes. Obviously you have to have Sky UK to yes. After you do that, press green. Okay. Then you go down, start scan. Okay. You'll see this at the bottom. Now it kind of goes quite quick to start with and you're getting zero. But after a wee bit you should see five, six, seven hundred channels, some radio. Obviously you're already getting the channels. As you can see, channel five is up there. But you want to get local channels. That's what we're doing here. So BBC London maybe. STV, UTV, ITV, whatever it is for your area. And then you just wait. And it should come up eventually. You'll see that there was a wee sign up here and that's it saying that it's loading basically. There you go. 705, 50 radio. It may find another, another few. It may not, but that's your the main ones anyway. So that's the channels found. <coughs> I should have said you go after that you go exit all the way back to this. Hold it in, three seconds, restart. Again, it's rebooting, and then usually it takes about a minute and a half to reboot to two minutes, and then we'll continue with the next part. Right now, it's time to set up the EPG. Easy enough, menu set up, oh, system EPG. Cross EPG. Download now. And that's as easy as it gets. We'll do that. Finish downloading. Three seconds. Restart the box. Power it back on. And then we'll add the line to activate the channels. Easy enough. Um, if you don't want to update the EPG, if you use the same backup as me, then it will do it automatically at 4 o'clock in the morning. Alright, so next on the list is to add in your, your line to the box. So, notepad, new account. You, if you go into the Zagamer, you can FTP files are, you can get new account here. So, you drag that across to the desktop. I was going to say that I've got one, blah blah blah, I'll just cancel that because I'm using it here. Um, I'll just leave all of these lines in but you can delete them so CWS space equals space your server, your port, username, if there's capitals make sure that you put them in. Password, again, I'll put a capital at the beginning. Then you have 0 01, 0 02, 0 03, 0 05, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way to 14. Make sure you, you keep that. File. Save as. Nothing. New cam. Here it says text. All files. And then you type. Dot li. ST 
you can list already. Do you want to replace it? I'm going no because I've already got one. So then you would get the new cam from the desktop, drag it into the box. If it actually goes all right, make sure that you click OK. I'm not going to because I've already done it. And that's it. That's how you put the line on at the box. And then you would go and restart the box and that would be it.